Hey there gamer guys and gals, I'm Richie and welcome to IG Critic. Chances are you've experienced the thrill of hunting for your next big game after completing an amazing title, but the first game out in May may just be hunting you. Releasing on the 5th, Prey. Developed by Arcane Studios, Prey is set in a future that looks too good to be true. Orbiting the moon is Talos-1, a research facility built to imprison and study an alien infestation dubbed Typhon. When the Transtar Corporation buys the facility from the government, their scientists plunder these organisms to create neuromods, which to you and me means awesome alien powers that can be sold for a profit. All it takes is a simple easy injection into your eye. You play as you. Morgan Yu, Director of Research at Transtar. Morgan is defined by your choices as a player. Male or female, friendly or antagonising, the story and the character can develop in many different ways resulting in multiple endings. After waking up with gaping holes in your memory, you must follow the clues you're left for yourself to piece together the events of what transpired to cause the current sci-fi catastrophe. The Typhon are running rampant through the station, and if any of them escape back to the planet's surface, it's game over. Obtain alien powers with more injections, that does not look healthy, such as the Mimic ability, useful for disguising yourself as various objects. I love new powers, let me try! Well, this is useful. Though not very practical for repelling attackers, it's great for stealthing. All weapons and powers offer a multi-purpose approach to the problems and can be combined for different effects, like these platform connecting blue stairs. Always handy for those sticky situations. On the 16th of May, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's an overthrown dictator who refuses to reform. Set entirely in the parallel world introduced in the first title, Injustice 2 continues the canon of this comic verse, where the Joker murdered Lois and the rest of Metropolis with an atomic bomb. For the last son of Krypton, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. He murdered the Joker and set himself up as Emperor of Earth. To protect us from ourselves, of course. With soups confined to a red sunlight cell, Batman brings together a roster of new and old characters to restore order, including Supergirl, Black Canary and Blue Beetle to stem the rise of a new group of villains led by Gorilla Grodd, banding together to form the society, bent on world domination. What else? With Brainiac also plotting global conquest, Superman escapes and attempts to rebuild his regime. Needless to say, Batman is not happy. It's your hero, your way. With a choice of 38 initial characters, there are a heap of tactics you can deploy against your opponent. As you play, you can earn uncommon, rare and epic gear to further personalise how they look and even alter their fighting style and combos. There's even armour to enhance the intensity of your heat vision. Because we all know heat vision is the coolest power ever. First released on the PS4 in 2015, Disgaea 5 portals over to the Nintendo Switch, dude! This complete package of a cool cartoony chronicle of RPG action and vengeance boasts over a hundred hours of gameplay. Disgaea is a demonic reality composed of many netherworlds, each governed by a powerful overlord. There's an underworld for everything, with names such as Scorching Flames, Poison Dice, Icic Hell and even one known as simply Gorgeous. An evil demon emperor by the name of Void Dark arises with an army of lost and he wants to rule it all. If he can't conquer it, then no one else can. The lost army lay waste to any opposition, leaving an empty mass of nothing in their wake. His name is Void Dark. I guess it's a calling card, absolute destruction fits the bill rather well. Enter Kilia, another demon who has his own score to settle with this would-be conqueror. Though overlords generally stick to their home dimensions, they are willing to follow this bare-chested food addict to the ends of multiple parallel planes to get their vengeance. It's a tale of demons, revenge, romance and even penguin prinnies, dude! What's not to like? On the 26th, Get Even. 
Get Even is a psycho thriller, exploration horror, and the developers at The Farm 51 are keeping shtum about the plot. This one promises to be a first-person action shooter that will certainly mess with your mind. The mind in question is a man simply known as Black. With a deep, gravelly voice and the most sophisticated handheld device I've ever seen, he can investigate the surrounding environment to provide information towards your objective. It scans thermal images, provides ultraviolet light, a localised area map, and access to a wealth of confidential data. Mine can give me a face like a puppy! Yeah, Black's well jealous. There are other tools to get you through this labyrinth of lunars. Here's a gun that shoots around corners without having to leave your cover. Bad guys explode in a shower of prisms without even knowing you're there. The allies you choose can make or break your journey. They may help you in the moment, but can they truly be trusted? The whole experience will have you questioning what is real and what is an attempt to push your buttons. When taking out NPCs, you'll never know who's an actual CPU character or another live gamer with their own objective. At least I'm real at any rate. Also on the 26th is Rhyme. Tequila Works, the creators of Deadlight and the Sexy Brutal, have been landscaping up an expansive single-player open-world puzzle platformer. Think Journey meets Ico. A young boy washes ashore on a mysterious island and begins a magical adventure. You start as you mean to go on, beginning to unravel the history of this mysterious Mediterranean isle with the aid of a friendly fox who acts as a guide. With the fox's help and that of the resident spirits, unearth mysteries long since buried in ancient ruins and towering expanses of terrain. The music is beautifully orchestrated and woven into the storytelling. Though he is a kid of no words whatsoever, his voice is key for interacting with the environment by calling upon the aid of spirit totems and activating the latent magic waiting to be released. Just because there's no combat involved, doesn't mean there's no perils to avoid. Collecting keys, screaming at statues, turning night into day, bemusing the native beasts to overcome trials. Sounds like Christmas at my grandparents' house. If you fancy an island getaway this spring, then Rhyme is a good place to start. Thank you for watching IG Critic! What do you think about this list of mini games? Are there any of these that you'll be playing, or is there another title you've set your sights on? Let us know in the comments section below! If you enjoy this video then please remember to like, share and subscribe! For more on video games new and old, feel free to check out our other content here on YouTube and over on IGCritic.com! I'm Richie, stay in magic and see you next time!